what is going on guys and welcome in this video we're going to create a sidebar however it's going to have also one drop down menu so we're going to see what property we need to do differently so over here it would be showing here on the side not on the top right underneath so let's fire up our text editors and let's get to work so how do we create a simple sidebar uh, that actually has a drop down menu now again as always we would need to start with our uh, nav nav tags over here and obviously over here we're going to place our unordered list and within the unordered list we're going to place in uh, list items and we're going to say that again the list item is going to have a href attribute and this is going to be equal to hashtag and over here we're just going to say again home and we're just going to copy this like i don't know four times right again this is going to be about this is going to be a i don't know survey something like this survey and this is going to be our drop down right so it's going to be drop down or here like this now again within this drop down we're going to create a another unordered list so here i'm just going to say ul and i'm going to create another unordered list right and again i'm just going to have the same uh, pretty much things i'm just going to say that this is going to have a href attribute over here like this and within that HR attribute, this is going to be a say menu, let's say one, right? So again, we're just going to select the whole line and we're just going to copy it like again, four times. So again, the main goal right now is we have done with HTML with setting up our backbone for our nav bar. Now we would need to actually place this menu exactly on a side. And that's actually going to be really easy. So now that we're done with uh, creating our HTML backbone, over here we're going to create a style tags. Over here like this, style, not strong. Over here, style. Like this. And within the style tags, we're obviously going to start styling. Now the first thing that I want to show you is why we're doing this list style type none. Over here, list style type. Over here. And we always say none. And before that, we always write the margin and padding zero. And we obviously, that therefore, we cannot see what we're doing. But you can see these annoying little circles. And if we write list style type none, then we actually get rid of those circles. Now, over here, what we want to do is obviously, as always, just set all of them, a all the elements, margin, padding, zero. Margin, zero. Padding, zero. Something like this. Padding, zero. And now you can see how they all lined up. And again, as always, we would need to want to start over here with this unordered list, right? Because we want to place it over here somewhere, right? So the way we would do that, we would write nav, we would write ul, li, and then again, unordered list, that is the child of the list items. And over here, what we would want to say is position, and we would say position absolute, and then we would say top, under, I'm sorry, top zero, and over here, we're going to say that left is going to be 100%. Now you can see that it pretty much disappears all, all the way over here, right? And that's not what we want. And the reason why it disappears is, well, there's actually two reasons. First, we would need to set the list item to relative, and then we would need to have a width. So here, if I write nav, ul, li, and I would say that they would have a width over here, and let's say that we're going to have a width of, let's say, 100 pixels over here like this, and then I would want to say that I would want their position to be relative so you can see what happens right right away my unordered list comes all the way here because now i have set width and you know what i'm also going to say a background color i'm just going to add it like a dark gray so over here i'm just going to say that this is going to be a dark gray and now i can see that as i'm over here selecting these list items you can see that only the first ones are dark gray right however if i would just say that all of them all the list items that are descendants of unordered list would have the same property. Now you can see what happens, right? That all of them actually have the same style. So here I can write the pretty basic things. I can say text align, I can move them center. And I think that's going to be pretty much in, done for uh, list items, right? So now let's create a new rule for the line height because we obviously would want it to be a little bit bigger. So the way we do that, again, you can see our on our list, right? So what we can do right over here, we can say line height, let's say 60 pixels, right? So it's just a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit uh, more foreseeable. 
right now let's go ahead and actually start styling a uh, anchors or links of our nav right so here I can easily write that I would want to select all of them right I don't need to write the actual selector because I would want all of my links look the same right and I would want to get rid of a text decoration first of all I would want to say and this is going to be none then I would want to say that the color should be something different so I'm going to say a color to be let's say chocolate over here like this then I'm going to say that I don't know uh, what else I would want maybe border no 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 no, no border let's just create a hover effect as we're hovering so I'm gonna say nav ul li over here like this and then we're gonna say hover and then over here we're gonna say that as we're hovering we want a border two pixels solid black something like this so now you can see that as I'm hovering over them they're displaying black but now you can see that we haven't done the display block property therefore only as we're hovering uh, the links you can see that over, over only as we're hovering over the text they're actually hovering right so in this case we would need to write display and display block so now I can see what happens now as I'm hovering over the whole link it actually it is displaying the whole uh, the whole width right now after that what we want to do is actually display only this on our list only as we're hovering over this list item right so what do we would need to do over here? You see this uh, unordered list. Now we're targeting only this unordered list. And I would say that display. And I would say display none. Over here like this. And then as I'm hovering over it, so I would find a list item again. And I would say that uh, as I'm hovering them over them. So over here we're going to create a new rule. And we're going to say that nav ul li and over here we're going to say hover and we're going to say that our unordered list over here on our list display block right so we're going to say display and we're going to say display block so let's check it out what we have and sure enough as i'm hovering over here over this drop down i have a my unordered list showing over here so now you can see how easy it is to actually create this uh drop down menu even on the sidebar.